Hi there, I'm Leslie Pringle. I'm the Network Rail Project Manager looking after the introduction of feeder stations across Scotland. To allow us to meet the 2035 target for decarbonising Scotland's railway, we're investing in cleaner, greener trains powered by electricity. As people move away from travelling on roads, we will add more passenger and freight trains to the network and this will result in an increased demand for electricity. So the investment you see here behind me is the first of a £120 million package of works agreed with the Scottish Government to boost the supply to an existing 25 kV electrified network around about the central belt. We're obviously looking at strengthening the existing network to deal with more electric trains and extending that in the near future to East Kilbride, Barhead, Borders and Fife. As, as well as strengthening the network to run additional electric trains, it also allows the train operators and freight operators, more importantly, to run additional services on the existing electrified network, which is very important in terms of lorry loads and passengers off, off the roads. Uh, the work here today is the, is the first step of our, of our rolling programme. We take 132,000 volts up there from, from Scottish Power. It gets down, transformed, and then goes through uh, our feeder station building here. Uh, if you think about a feeder station, th think about the, the consumer unit or the fuse box underneath your stairs. Essentially, we have the exact same th thing here, only 100 times bigger. So today, we're creating an Fergus Lee feeder station, which will take power from the adjacent substation and feed network rails, overhead line infrastructure. Further to to the works today, we will be commissioning the feeder station over the next two months and it will be brought into service during the month of September. This is a key milestone on the Traction Power project and our works will continue through to 2026 across the central belt, borders and fight.